Now this is going to sound pretentious, but I've always been interested in the banal. I think you can learn a lot from just observing the banal. Sure, that means that you may be taking in something that's inherently boring, but there's something oddly beautiful about watching an elderly man finish up his Tuesday morning sunrise swim. You can start to come up with stories for these individuals, and sure, they are unequivocally untrue, but it forces you to reflect on life in a place that can become so convoluted to be bored. A lot of people think the story of Australia is this. In Australia. And this. And this. This might be pushing it. You can kick off your sh Oh, and of course this. In but for me, the story of Australia lives in observing people in their places. There's nothing like being in a place and noticing a dad playing with his kids on the beach or a group of kids going for a quick surf. The beauty of the banal is that it tells us a lot about who people are when they're just living. Being. No bells and whistles, just them going about their lives not expecting some weird filmmaker from Seattle to notice them, let alone appreciate them. The story of Australia for me has been rooted in this unprecedented need to separate my I'm stunning abroad in Australia self from my fuck what the hell is happening to the planet self. How do you capture that? How do you balance it? I don't think I found a perfect balance. I think it would be different for everyone anyways. But what I was able to do was channel my love for the banal into my desire to get involved. And I think what I came up with is that the everyday lives of people who are more like us than we often recognize is what needs to be highlighted. When you donate to the fires, you're donating to the everyday lives of the people who have to go through them. To the firefighter who's going to go home and read a book to his kids. To the kids who go to the Blue Mountains with their friends to do some rock climbing. To the woman who never wants to leave Sydney because where else would she want to wake up at 5 a.m. to go on a jog? The story of Sydney, the story of Australia, the story of me being in Australia has been rooted in my recognition that we all do and want and need the same things. We all want to eat well, have good work, share good company, the list goes on. Australia is the Opera House, the Harbour Bridge, Bondi Beach. But it's also where a baby crawled for the first time. Where kids go for a surf, where people go to work, where grandma takes her grandkids to the beach. It's the beauty of the banal.